seems to watch this on display. Connection to Earth in progress. Wasted, dreaming of a rescue from a place that's nothing but a cloud of scattered rocks. Everyone on Mars, if they hear of this, they'll be devastated. What am I gonna tell them? Scott, I need advice. It's a difficult decision indeed. I would be tempted myself to spill the beans, as you youths would say. But I still... Eh, I know from experience that the truth is quite like a mushroom cloud. Do you want to set off the bomb? Not just one, but two terrible, awful, catastrophic secrets. I shuddered. But Zach, nothing stops us from going home. With Victor's passing, you would undoubtedly... Well, there's always a small chance. Likely become the great master of Abundance's Technomancers. And you could do great things for our corporation and our city. Help science, stop corruption, restore justice. You could do it all, my boy. Just right now, I, I would very much like for us to go home and live none the wiser. What do you think, Nisha? I think it's our responsibility to tell the world that there's nothing to expect from the outside. But we have to do it gently. Otherwise, we'd be looking at a worldwide revolution. And if you reveal your true colors to abundance, it won't accept you for who you are. But you know you'll always be welcome at Noctis. Whatever happens, your support could shift the balance of power on Mars. And what better city to pick than Noctis? The one place that accepts all walks of life, human or mutant. will reveal what we've learned in Octus. Corporations will feel the blow, but at least for the first time, people will be allowed to choose their futures. And we can finally hope that a city like Noctis, that welcomes mutants and humans alike, will no longer be an anomaly, but someday become the norm. Come, it's time to go. Looking back now, I bet I wouldn't even recognize the young Zachariah Manser who just earned his stripes. And little did I know that all my choices would compound together and shape the city under the ice. By allowing Volgakov safe passage out of the city, the Resistance survived and thrived, and their support later proved invaluable. Despite my orders, I couldn't bring myself to kill my fellow man, so I let the deserters go and arrested their leader instead. I found him broken down in a re-education camp much later. I remember letting poor Dave go, understanding he only betrayed me to protect his family. Meanwhile, a more dangerous spy was hiding in my shadow. Jeff's innocent, gung-ho attitude was a cover. He deceived me, and in return, I left him for dead without a second thought, allowing an enraged Nisha to do her thing. And even in all my efforts to be a good soldier, I was still exiled from Ophir. No matter what happened, Victor was always going to discredit me. Yet my decisions of friends, alliances, would greatly influence the events that followed. The day I left Ophir in a stolen rover was the day I had chosen the people alongside me to become my companions, through adventure, misfortune, and into battle. Later, I agreed to help Dandolo chase the Vori out of Noctis, for good. Cutting them off at the bridgehead they hoped to use to infiltrate every settlement on Mars. And because of that, Anton came close to paying the ultimate price when his men picked him as the scapegoat. But he's not a man you get rid of that easily. 
by becoming the great master of Technomancers. I've earned their unwavering loyalty, but I've also accepted a lifelong responsibility. Since I've left the city under the ice, I've had many young apprentices, and the Order is powerful again, our future bright. Phobos, a great strategist and an even better friend, turned out to be a tremendous leader of Mutant Valley. So when the corporations attacked again and again, Phobos held the line again and again. With few losses in battle and a flood of incoming refugees, he is now head of the most powerful force on the planet. The release of the mutants of Ophir opened a breach that was never resealed. Thousands upon thousands of mutants escaped to join Mutant Valley. And today, the citizens of Abundance actually have to do the labor themselves. Nisha still runs missions for Dandolo. But I can tell her heart's not in it. I think she's beginning to see that her father figure, as charming and caring as he may appear to be, is really a master manipulator. I won't hesitate to make less than ethical choices to serve the best interests of his city. I don't mind. It gives me more time to spend with warm, loving, beautiful, real Nisha. And less time with cold, calculating, and okay, still beautiful super spy Nisha. And she's finally starting to sing again. And I dabble in harmony. I visit Scott on occasion. He's still probably legally crazy, but he's found a way to use that eccentric energy for good. He treats children in the slums of Ophir. Well, this time he's not using them as guinea pigs. The army's role in taking down Victor allowed it to regain its honorable post as the protector of abundance. The generals have powerful representatives at the assembly again. And even if the corporation has lost some luster and prestige after the colonel's reign, at least it can properly defend itself. Dandolo made the most of our alliance, as you would expect. Noctis is now ubiquitous. Its merchants have obtained the right to citizenship in Ophir, and are free to come and go from the exchange as they please. Everything else was dwarfed by my choice to reveal the Earth's destruction. Rumors traveled faster than Rover, and when I showed proof, panic and chaos spread like a plague. Riots broke out. Civil wars erupted. The bubble had burst. The common people, realizing that no savants from Earth would come down to help them, finally began demanding war from their leaders. But Abundance and the other corporations are still here, their power now grown beyond simple religious manipulations. My new home, Noctis, has boomed. More newcomers arrive every day, and we welcome them with open arms. Dandolo says it's time to consider expansion. I don't know what the future holds, and I can't help but feel guilty at times for the lives lost after I reveal the truth. But I'm happy to see the people of Mars forging ahead, seeking to build a future here on the Red Planet. Our planet.